fall up north is a different kind of place. Colors that would match the text of Steinbeck to the canvas of Norman Rockwell. God's country. Where the people that do live here would give the shirt off their back but are proud to be independent and free. They love one pastime more than America. They love chasing big black bear. We're back with another vets hunt, but this time it's in my home state of Wisconsin. The state has graciously allowed for the transfer of black bear tags to Purple Heart veterans. And I happen to know a pretty good guide in the Wisconsin Northwoods that I hunted bear with before in the past. So let's meet our guide Randy and our veteran Larry. I've known Ryan for a few years and um, we've been working together to try to get a hunt lined up for a Purple Heart recipient. It all came together this year, which is our first year, um, giving back to our troops who risked everything to protect the forest and our way of life. So I feel that it's the least we can do is to try to give back to them. I'm Corporal Larry Drawn, United States Marine Corps retired. I served two tours overseas, one to Iraq in 2008, one to Afghanistan in 2009, where I stepped on a roadside bomb in May. From the blast, I sustained severe injuries to my lower extremities and to my hands. My left leg is above the knee, my right leg is below the knee, and I'm missing fingers on my, my right hand and severely damaged to my left hand. Before we get too far into the actual hunt, I just wanted to take a moment to talk about what goes on behind the scenes when you put on a veteran's hunt. Uh, it's not just the guy donating his time or me filming. Uh, the community really rallies around the veteran and the event, uh, putting on food, donating lodging. Uh, it's really authentic. Uh, you can't fake it. Uh, but let's let Larry tell you about it. Throughout this experience, we've gotten to eat some amazing food from our place cafe. They've catered a dinner for us and let us come and eat breakfast over at their place. And uh, the foods, the pasta we ate was absolutely amazing. We've ate it every night since they've delivered it. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back up here eating some more of their food. Uh, we've gotten to stay at a, a great place while we're up here, Pine Point Lodge. They were kind enough to open up their doors and donate this amazing amazing lodge for us to stay at while we're up here in the north woods overlooking a beautiful lake where we get to hear all sorts of wildlife every morning we wake up we get to hear elk bugling and the loons talking back and forth in the morning and at night and sometimes when we're sitting out on the beach in the middle of the night the elk start opening up because they're starting to rut up here and that's what it's all about is the experience It's cool. 
mustache. We had a, uh, a nice bear came in, come in to us, and uh, my heart started pumping. Give him an opportunity to come around to the front of the bait, and uh, the bear kind of quartered away, just so ever slightly. And I was able to calm myself down, get my bow back, put where I thought was a good shot placement on the bear. And uh, after letting the arrow fly, the shot felt great. I did hear an, an audible ting and after I had shot. And after reviewing the footage and looking for the blood and trying to recover that bear, we had determined that I had made a little bit too low of a shot on that bear. And uh, I'm pretty sure the riser of my bow might have hit the top of the ground blind, the crossbar in the ground blind. And so we reviewed the footage multiple times and come to the determination that that bear is going to survive. I just barely grazed the bottom of his chest. And... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully I get another opportunity because that adrenaline rush from that experience was out of this world, and I'm going to be chasing that from here on out because that was, that was something special. The, the highs and the lows from that experience will, will be with me forever. It's not always about the harvest of the animal. It's about the experience, and we've all been there. We've all made bad shots on animals. Unfortunately, that's part of the game. If you've ever bow hunted or hunted in general, you're going to have bad shots that you thought were good shots. And the game's going to get away from you. And that's, that's part of the experience. That's what draws us back is the unknown. Like Larry said, you know, the highs and the lows of hunting. Um, there's nothing, there's not a worse feeling uh, than hitting, wounding, uh, and not recovering an animal. Um, I've been there. I think we've all been there. Um, you know, so after reviewing the footage and looking at the arrow, which was mostly fat, uh, and tracking this bear through the night and the following morning, looking at minimal blood, uh, we came to a consensus that uh, that bear uh, wouldn't be recovered and probably lived. Um, so silver lining. Anyways, um, awesome to be part of this. Um, with High Point Adventures, we're gonna be doing this every year. We're gonna be teaming up with Randy for a bear hunt every year. Uh, so follow us and look forward to next year's hunt and the continuing adventures. We've gotten to meet some amazing people up here. The community has opened their arms to us and showed us 
how they support the military and the men and women that are fighting overseas. Not so much with their voice, but their kindness and their gestures and what they've done for us. And uh, I know it's a, it's a crazy time we're in right now and to be able to still be able to come here and experience this has truly, truly been amazing. So if you're a veteran looking to get in the outdoors and experience what this world has gotten, what's got to offer and what you fought for, this is a perfect example of what we fought for and sacrificed for. So reach out to Ryan off the grid and uh, hopefully he can make your dreams come true because they have made mine come true because this has truly been an amazing out of body experience and I'm forever grateful for this.